Okay, guys, we are about to talk about these stocks making these new 52-week lows. These stocks are going on down to a major discount right now. Some of them are looking better than the others. Y'all know how it go. And make sure that you get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any updates, any analogies, any early seats. And meet us over at the Discord. You can get all of these alerts on time. Not only will you be able to get my alerts, but also the alerts from the rest of the experienced analysts in here throwing out their plays of stocks, options, crypto. Guys, the whole shampoo. I'm about to get ready to catch me one of these hot swings or oversold plays right now. Don't miss out on this. And in fact, I see... Penny Stocks has been going for AISP. We were literally just up in the Discord right now talking about AISP stock and how the stock was looking so good. And I made recent videos on that stock as well. But let's get right into it now with ALCE. Going on down to this major discount right now. It's all of these stocks. are. Right, make sure that you listen carefully and closely. In fact, I make sure to keep my speech slow and clear. For those of you who cannot keep up and or have a hard time understanding, again, get subscribed to the channel. Hit that like button. Share this video out somewhere. Let's make Banker with Billy Explode. We got ALCE stock going to the lows at $1.28. You see how fast they are loading this stock up all throughout the day, pushing from $1.28 up to $1.43. They're holding this thing up right now at $1.40 into the after hours. And ALCE is about to come in for that next leg up this is just the beginning of alce stock with an average volume of 1.62 thousand that current value now is going to 137 thousand and keep in mind that the, the the key statistics matter on these stocks man you want to like i like to i like to find a stock with the lower stats lower floats lower shares outstanding lower market caps and stuff like that they get filled faster so stocks come in for bigger explosions and it's harder for those stocks with bigger stats while they have low volume because they need a lot more attention and so on and so forth. But keep in mind, watch this. I'm going to show you guys right now. Keep in mind that every single one of these stocks, these 52 week lows, has done nothing but entirely sell all the way off, which is why they are making these 52 week lows. But easy pops, easy reverses. People are in here at the lows of 128, and they holding up at $1.40. So keep an eye on your analysis order flow. You'll be able to see if you have more coming, in, more larges coming in or more larges going out. Right now, there's no larges coming in or at coming in or out of ALCE stock. The mediums are at a tie, and it's more smalls that are going out of this stock. I feel like ALCE stock can come in for more inflow and then continue to uptrend past that $1.50, but the second that this stock does begin to uptrend towards that one fifty cent range, it's going to see heavy resistance. Like you see when it's tried to go above that one fifty five and it's soaked this thing right back off instantly. Keep in mind that the last few days have been extremely bad. Actually, you know what? Let me show you guys. Look at this. Keep in mind, everything going on with these stocks and all other stocks in the market is while the markets are pushing up more bearish than bullish. We're talking about four or five thousand decliners, but we got about less than two thousand advances. This is a continuation of the bearishness that's been coming in yesterday. And I was letting you guys know in most recent Bank of believe videos that the markets were touching up towards those overbought dangers that it was inevitable. We were going to be seeing these red days coming into the market, that things were going to go to a downtrend. And here we go now while everybody's stocks starting to go red and starting to downtrend or slow down. People are like, what's going on with these stocks here? Well, that, that stock is doing needs and knows. Well, you know that we got about, we got we got like 5,000 things selling off right now. One of your stocks may be one of those 5,000 decliners, man. Make sure that you're keeping up with the market conditions and know what you are looking at. Next, we got Z, oh yeah, AELC in the Bank of Webley Discord. A ALCE stock, of course, you can see what's been going on most recently. I done made most recent ALCE stock videos, and the ALC has been exploding in the past. I'm not going for ALCE stock. I'm just, I'm just not messing with it. You know, I feel like there are some better ones on this list. In fact, I'm, I'll show you right now. Look, I'm thinking about going for MLGO. MLGO has a history of coming in for prior spikes and explosions and stuff like that. You know, uh, I feel like MLGO is going to be one of the easier ones to come into versus these other 52 low especially if MLGO gets up to higher volume. But that's a bit down the list. We'll get there in a second. Next, we got ZCAR. Right now, we got ZCAR looking exactly the same as ALCE going to this massive discount down to the lows of that $2.50 up to the highs with that $2.75 into the after hours as people want to get into the safe, easy, early seat and again it's the same setup and the same strategy every single trade you are buying getting low selling high fight the fomo fight the greed man i'm like so when we up hundreds of percents in these stocks 90 percent 70 percent whatever the case may be and that stock is overbought and dangerous 
you know that they're about to sell it off. We've been talking about this for a very long time now about how a stock sells off when it's overbought. And every time a stock becomes overbought, that thing sells off. And some of you guys like to still hold on in there. So let me tell you guys, you newer traders or you people who are maybe new to banking with Billy right now, what you want to do is the same exact thing every single day for the rest of forever. I know, sounds repetitive. Man, he's always talking about the talk about the oversolds overbought. He's always talking about that seven to fifteen percent is guaranteed reversal. Well, this creates a natural consistency. Why are you looking to why are you looking to do all kinds of willy nillies over here and all kinds of different things over there? You're looking to do things that are gonna make you mess up. Just do the same exact thing that's been working. If it if, if it works, just keep doing it. It's oversold and ready, and then you get in there, or it's overbought and dangerous, and you don't. You and you have no business buying in a stock that's overbought and dangerous. This stock will go from overbought and dangerous. Highs of that twelve dollars all the way down to this two dollars and fifty cents. Where you get a big bull run to come in right now. We're talking about this stock is almost up to what? What's this? Two dollars and eighty cents into the after hours. They're gonna load and hold this thing up with an average value of twenty nine thousand. That current value is getting to one hundred fifteen thousand on ZCAR stock. And you're gonna be watching when those large scales start to come in because we don't have any large scales coming into the stock for the last few days. You can see this by keeping an eye on your analysis of the flow. You better see you have more larges coming in or more larges going out. Right. Right now, largest don't even want to touch this thing right now. I know largest in there. They only want they're not messing with ZCAR. I don't think I'm gonna go for Zoom car either. But mediums are the time, the smalls are the time. Pretty soon you'll see some large scales come in. And when they do, this thing's gonna explode instantly. Let me show you something. Watch this on ALCE stock. This stock is gonna massive in short. This is why we see an ALCE stock get ready to come in for a massive short squeeze. ZCAR stock is not big in short interest at all. Like literally at all. So it's not going to come in for a short squeeze. That doesn't mean people won't buy the stock and send it off to an uptrend. We can go see ZCAR in the Bank of Web Billy Discord. So you'll be able to see how this stock is moving and how you should feel about this stock in its current conditions. Currently, we have no new alerts going out for ZCAR stock. But I have made a recent video on here. Go ahead and check that out. Hit that like button and share these videos out somewhere, man. Let's make Bank of Web Billy explode. 2024 is going to be our year. And I recommend that you diversify your skill sets now. You are, All of you know how to swing trade. You've been watching these videos, man, catching these alerts in Discord. You you undoubtedly have, and I already know. I, I know everybody in Discord, everybody in Bank of Web Billy has mastered their swing trading strategy. Literally to the point where they going for advanced. Look at this. We got we got Coach Dragonfly going for SQQs and ETFs now. He yeah, he talking about he talking about leverages and all all kinds of stuff like that right now. That's how advanced that we've gotten at the Bank of Billy Discord. We mastered our swings together. We mastered our day trades together, and we mastered our options and our spies and QQQs together. Now they're moving on to more advanced things. I recommend that you catch up, do as well. Get to the Bank of Billy Discord, activate your free trial, and of course, Bank of Billy has a five dollar monthly membership it's gonna it's the cheapest in the world and it always will be let's get right back into it with a l c e and z c a r to this massive discount easy boy run ahead don't miss out on that a i s p stock Ooh, i was telling you guys about a i s p stock in the most recent um uh, fact is right here in front of us i was telling you guys about a i a i s p stock um just a day or so ago when i made the last best stock to buy 52 of those videos telling you guys how AISP stock was going to come in for a massive bull run about how you didn't want to miss out on this stock that was going to be turning into a parabolic oversold. Excuse me, excuse me. We have the oversold play section throwing out AISP stock. I will make videos on AISP stock and this stock will go down to that next quick dip. And of course, Matt Coach Manson was throwing out alerts for AISP stock along in his section. Letting us know this stock about to explode. Don't miss out on AISP. We about to go parabolic. Sure enough, this stock gets picked up by the parabolic scam box because this stock has been going crazy. And then get this. We even got the penny stocks that's picking up AISP. I tell you guys to just keep your notifications on. And you keep your notifications on and you won't miss out on anything. It's easy money. We know what we're going for. And we make it easy because we can help you guys get into a safe, easy, early seat. See the videos on time. Currently on ASIP. I mean, yeah, AISP stock. We see how this stock going to that next dip. It's about to make that next round of bullish divergence here. That's why people are loading this thing up into the after hours right now. We got our red start from the flip. So we look at like AISP is probably going to push over that three dollars, and that's going to be heavy, heavy resistance there. But it's probably going to break over that three dollars tomorrow morning. We talking about like the 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 pre market opening. Now, pre-market opening, when all those orders that are set right now get filled and then exposed, and you know how they want to do. They want to sell that thing off real fast. They were just going for an overnight swing, or they were just going for a quick, fast day trade with an average volume of 500000 You know that volume might not get up to $20 million. 
You know they're getting ready to like some, some of those games. You can click on a one minute chart. Watch this. This thing getting really bullish. So keep an eye on your analysis order flow to see if you have more larges coming in or larges going out. Right now, more larges going out. We got more mediums coming in. It's more smalls coming in. Yeah, yes, peace stock like is gonna come in for that next uptrend, guys. Don't miss out on any of this easy money. Me myself, I'm not going for AISP. Why not? Because looking at your forever chart, you'll be able to see that this stock is already pushing up. I like to get in the early seat. When I made those videos back when on AISP stock, letting you guys know that this stock was about to come in for an explosion. And then after I make that video, now we got all the analysts in the bank with Lee Discord throwing out alerts for AISP stock. Because they got into a safe, easy, early seat. That's what it's all about. Like I just said, you get in while it's oversold and ready. You lock games in when it's overbought and dangerous. As they did. Because watch this. Look at this. They sold that thing off fast. They were they, they were not they were not playing games for AISP stock. They literally, the second this thing being became overbought, they did nothing but sell this thing all the way back off. And uh, not all the way back off, I guess. Because it's still holding up. That means that some people are in there believing in the fundamentals, looking for long terms, and so on and so forth. Next, we got F L Y. X stock F L Y X. This stock right here, I like I like the way that F L Y X is looking, but I don't like that low volume line. Like that volume is just a bit low value thing can be a cleaner swing and a, and a you know um a cleaner uptrend. They'll hold that thing up because the long investors love those low value things for some reason. But like watch this when I show you guys F O I feel like F L Y X is just gonna need some more time and it might trick investors because this thing is literally just just now going down to that massive discount. And go from three seventy one back up to six dollars right now with this low volume. We don't know how those big whales and whatnot that are in here are gonna treat the stock. Well, they probably already ready to like watch this when I zoom out. They probably already ready to like the games from three seventy one to that six dollars. They probably gonna sell this thing back off. And I feel like I feel like we can get F L Y X back to a cheaper discount. So I'm not going for this. Well, not just yet, at least. But you can do whatever makes you feel comfortable. I'm also looking for the stocks that be having those lower floats. I love me a lower float, man, because those things come in for that explosion. But keep an eye on your analysis going to flow. You'll be able to see. If you got more larges coming in, larges going out. Right now, it's more larges coming in, more mediums coming in. You got more smalls coming in. You got the inflow out, doing that outflow with those large-scale million-dollar USD orders. They finally just now coming into FLYX. Like, you about to see that next hot up trend. Don't miss out on this. I already know which one I'm going for next. But I'm not going for FLYX. Let me show you FLYX in the bank of Willie Discord. FLYX stock. These low volume things. Low volume stock. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with them. They just, they just take a little bit longer, man. You know, you know, sometimes people want to find a faster play and so on and so forth. So, you know, if you are eventually over time, you just know what you like to look for. You know what you like to see. You're not really worried about these or those or what's going on over there or what those people talking about in here at those times and so on and so forth. Because of, because you know what you like to see. You know what you like to go for. You feel comfortable what you have going on. And you know and you feel completely comfortable with fighting the fumble and greed, which is the most important because of, man, let me tell you. You know, you get the, and penny stocks right now is going for Palantir. I'm going to go take a quick peek at Palantir. Let me see. I ain't trying to miss out on this one. PLTR stock. What's Palantir doing? Let me penny stocks want to go for it. Let's look at a four hour chart. Is this oversold? Is it ready? Let's see. Oh, look at Palantir. Palantir coming down towards those lows and oversolds towards those oversolds and readies. And penny stocks going for this. This stock's going to come in for a trend back up towards that $20. But we're not talking about Palantir right now. We're going back to our 52 week lows. We're going back down to BJD. Going down to this massive discount. I like I like this one. I like I, I like that this thing is down at that one dollar, like right over compliance, because it's building such because they don't want to see it go out of compliance. So they're holding it up as such strong support right now. Extremely strong support. And with your red star indicator in closing, we're about to watch BJDX come in for that next hot up trend. Like watch this right here. Look at this. We got our first rounds of bullish momentum shift coming in. That's why I tell you guys to hone in and out on the time frames. You can see what all the other time frames are looking at. Because of, although this one stock, I mean, right now, because your 15 minute chart might be looking like these or those or whatever you got going on. Well, your four hours in your daily still looking like those and these. They still look like dangerous positions when you're going to a four hour chart while your MACD indicator is starting to shy off a bit. Because the bullish divergence came in, but they didn't let this thing explode. Because they want to hold B, they clearly want to hold this one down. With an average volume of thirty nine thousand, that current value now getting up to one hundred thousand, and that free flow is small. That free flow is under one. That free flow is under one billion right now. This could be 
you know what? Let's see if short inch is big. Short inch has got to be big on this one because it, oh, it's not. It's not. It's been this, I was about to say, I'm like, if, if, if BJDX is big and short inches without a fuck like that, we're going to watch this thing come in for a massive squeeze. And then it'll be hot and stuff like that. So hot, hot, hot. So for those of you who don't, Look, I know if you do it for the market, you probably like, what is this guy even talking about? It's hard for you to keep up. I make sure to keep my speech slow and clear for those of you who don't understand and have a hard time keeping up, okay? So let's talk about hawks for a second. Um, so when the stock starts to get, when it, when it, when, it, when that floats and those market caps when that started to get filled, then the stock starts to explode. So they halt it. Now, hawks can be dangerous. They'll be your friend. I'm talking like, you want to get into that hawk. You really want to be in the stock when that thing is hot enough. Of course, we all know how that goes, but... It can be dangerous because of the second that thing unhawks, people might get nervous and want to sell it off, especially if it's overbought. And you know what? In fact, if it is overbought, they're about to sell that thing off once it gets on, once it gets unhawked. But it's like different rounds of so like okay, so understanding your goal and your role really helps. I know what I'm going for, and I know what I'm not going for. For one, I'm not going for a long term investment, especially on these dangerous wrecked fifty two week. Every single stock I'm showing you right now is completely wrecked. Literally, I'm not going for a long term investment on these things, and I don't like to day trade because I ain't trying to, because one, I'm not trying to stare at that chart all day. Again, it's the same thing, oversells, overbought, no matter what. But I ain't trying to stare at that chart all day. You know how it is with that pressure coming in. You can't even blink because the second you blink, that whole day trade done sold all the way up. I don't like to do that. I go for, I like to go for a safe swing trade. That way, you know, I get into a scene trade in after hours. When I wake up in the morning, it's already exploded. And it's a low volume thing. So when they exploded, they didn't even sell it off. They just still holding it up. Give me time to still like in games. Or if I really got the greed on that stock, then I hold in for the next leg up. But BJDX, I like this one. I like the way this looks. Because this is undoubtedly about to explode. But nonetheless, if we have bigger short interest, this thing would I'll probably already be. And we don't have big whales, large scale, million dollar yours, yours that are not, they're not rushing in here yet. I want to get in here before they do. I wish I would have got that 105, but at this 115. It's not gonna get any. I uh, literally, it's the floor right here. You wanna? Oh, it's closing after hours. Ah, oh, it's gonna be going for this right after this video. But I will be looking into this before the P mark. Put it on your watch list. Look to the. I gotta go see any Discord actually. B J D X stock. Watch this. B J D X stock. So like B J D X and um, what's the other one? M L G O. They've been out a little bit longer than some of these other ones. So they already have people who be watching these stocks and getting ready for them and stuff like that. Like BJD, it it's coming for paradigm plays in the past. Look at this. Easy. Of course, I was making videos on BJDX in the past, talking about how this stock is going to explode. This isn't the first time. And I scroll down just a bit more. Watch this. Multiple paradigm plays on BJDX. But, you know, like I say, this they come in for rounds of bearishness around the bullishness. So if you are a long-term investor, then your round of bearishness is going to be a little bit longer. If you are a swing trader, then they'll round the bearishness or bullishness might be a little bit shorter. And if you're a day trader, then this is going to come that round of bullishness and bearishness is about to go very fast. Very, very fast. And that's why we don't, that's why I don't day trade. I mean, I do day trade. You guys see me putting out those day trade alerts in the bank of the Discord when I be up early on, a, you know, try to catch my early bird specials and stuff like that. And of course, in the bank of the Discord, I let you guys know. If we're going for a day trade or if we're going for a swing trade, if it should just be a weekend swing or if you should be looking to be, you know, keep on holding in because stock is going to explode or if it's a risky day trade. I'll let you know if it's a safe swing trade or a risky day trade. And if it's a risky, if I'm putting down a lot of talking about this a risky day trade, you better be prepared to lock those gains in. Because if it's a risky day trade and that thing explodes in 30 seconds, I'm about to sell that thing off in 30 seconds. It means nothing to me. Now, you need to make sure, like, so if you are only swing trading, I don't know what I don't I don't know what kind of accounts you guys have. Like I don't know if y'all got margins or cash accounts. I don't know how much y'all trade with, man. So I don't know if you already got unlimited day trades. I don't know what you guys have going on. I'm just a swing trader, bringing you guys a safe, easy early seat. Keep up, follow along, do what you got to do to make sure that you are most comfortable. Because of, I'm gonna do what makes me feel most comfortable. So if I don't want to hold that stock no more, I'm gonna lock those gains in. If a thing is going down and I'm like, man, I know it's other plays out here, and I already know what's gonna explode next. I'm gonna get out of that play and go for the next thing. It's as simple as that. Do what makes you feel most comfortable. And again, if you are not in the Bank of Wibbly Discord to get these buy and sell alerts on time, then you are at a great, massive, extreme disadvantage. Because the second we get in there, you can find out. You couldn't find out how I made that video, and I might not make a video on today. I might not make a video talking about how we locked in gains off of that for the next two, three days. And since you weren't in the Discord to get those alerts on time, you are way behind talking about this and that on that stock. But just know. Us in the Discord, we put out alerts that we were locking in gains to get our 
before that thing sold off when we bought. It's a thousand times easier if you get your alerts in from the Bank of Wibbly Discord rather than just only seeing a video and wondering if we even did get it or we so on and so forth. Y'all know how it go, man. And of course, wondering what I'm holding in on right now, man. I'm still in ZVAC, talking about GGE. I'm finna go for, I'm about to go for MLGO stock. I like MLGO, but we almost down there. Uh, B and Z I. This one, you know, and I don't need, uh, I've never traded this. Look at this. I've never traded this stock before. This stock got a very extremely low average value. We're talking about 75,000 average value. And that current volume we got right now is get up to 1.58 million. Decent float. This is a 16 million dollar float. Wish that float was less than a million. It's <laughs> coming for an instant spike. Are people even going for this? Let me get your order flow. Like, we got largest going out. Some mediums and some smalls slightly coming into this thing, but uh, the large scale million dollar US the order still going out of BNZI stock. I'm not messing with this one right here, man. Look at your 15 minute chart. Oh, this stock already came in for a hot spike from 154 up to 224. Probably won't even happen again like that. But let's go see BNZI in the bank with the Discord. Because I was probably making videos on this, talking about how the 52 dollars was going to explode. Somebody in the Discord fight the one I learned. Oh, they came out with news um, last month. What is this? Bain's Eye launches data-driven research hub to demo democratic, democratic marketing insights. What is this stock? I don't know. This this got to be new. I got to go see a monthly chart. Let me see this real quick, man. Oh, there we go. That explains all right, this stock extremely new right here. So BNZI, for those who don't know, there are a marketing technology company that provides essential marketing and sales solutions for businesses of all sizes. We'll talk more about them here in the future. I'm not going for BNIZ at all. <laughs> VSTE stock. Same as a lot of these other ones. Fairly new. Fairly new. In fact, this is a very... Uh, this is a very interesting list of 52 week lows, actually. All these, these are low value. All of these things are kind of fairly new to the market, which is crazy because usually when we come across our 52 week lows, they be stocks that have been out for a while and they already got the bigger stats and the so on and so forth and so whatnot. But VSTE stock currently going down to a massive discount. Oh, look at this. Let me see. This stock been out for quite for a bit. Not too long though, but been out for a bit. This thing make it up to fourteen dollars before they sell the thing off all the way down to that three dollars. Oh, yeah, I'm not going for this one. Either. I'm finna go for MLGO and BJDX. I'm just letting you know right now, man. So see that I learned in Discord when I do get into those things because uh, I do expect for the markets to come in for more bearish tomorrow. Is this as a continuation? And let me tell you why. Because watch this. Um, on yo for you know you already know me. I'm going for the swing trade time frame. If it ain't a four hour chart or a daily chart, I'm just not messing with it. Okay. Now, you see your four hour chart is is going back down to its lows and results. It does not say bullish divergence just yet. But you know, all of that stuff changes fast. You know, you know, you think that the markets would be more bearish and whatnot, and then come to find out that things get more bullish, right? Well, we just seen that candlestick spike. Turn out that things get more bullish even as we speak. You know, like things happen very fast. And that's why I continue to remind you guys that literally, although it is the same setup and same strategy every single trade, and I don't just say this just for nothing because that 7 to 15% is literally actually guaranteed in reversal. If that stock is going to into reversal, you are guaranteed that 7 to 15%. Now, this is the thing, you know, so like, you know, so we don't know how much money these people are trading with, man. So like that, that, that 15% for you might only be $400. Might only be $40. I don't know what you got going on, but for some of those big wells over there, that 15% could have been $40 million. Could have been $40,000. I don't, like I said, we don't know how much you're trading with. And that's why we see stocks start to take those quick dips and whatnot around our 7 to 15% ranges because they already got what they need. They already got what they want. They don't want to push it any further than that because that 7 to 15% is guaranteed in reversal and nothing else is guaranteed in reversal when anything over that 7 to 15% is a blessing. You better be like, if, you are, if your strategy consists of the word trade, day trade or swing trade, you are looking to lock in gains at overbought. Lock those gains in, man. And, um, if a stock is overbought and dangerous, you don't have any business buying into that stock anyways. You know, so just make sure that you fight that greed and the FOMO and stuff. Because don't get me wrong, I don't, we all done been there and done that. And we've all put all the eggs in the one basket and whatnot. That brings me back to saying, if you are new to the markets and nobody else is going to tell you this, man, I'll tell you now. You do not put everything into one play. 
Me, myself, I love a, a small positions, small targets. Keep things going. Those small gains add up. That's not going to explode either way. If you really feel an answer about it, you know, go ahead and put in however much you really want to put in. But I recommend you this. Just keep some buying power. Keep enough buying power that you want to go. It, it'd be great if you can average down heavy. And, I, and, I, and I, we'll just leave it at that. It'd be great if you can have buying power always to average down heavy. That way you get into a better position. But VST stock. I don't like the way this one looks because uh, it's, it, it's, it looks so dangerous. Like, look at this right here. And, I mean, same thing as always. It's just not coming in for enough bullishness just yet. Like, look at the four-hour chart. Like, when it started, it sold right back off even a little bit lower. This stock isn't – it's oversold already, but it's it's so choppy down there. Look at this right here on your 15-minute chart. It's so choppy right now. But that does mean that people are excited for this nonetheless. For real, for real. With average volume of 85000 that current volume gets up to 163000 which is, I guess, is good on VSTE. But if I take you back to a monthly chart on this stock, you be able to see how 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 people really don't want to mess with this. Look at this. All they did was sell this thing off. In fact, let's go to a weekly chart. You better see on a smaller time frame for those of you who wanna who wanna see it on tomorrow. Look at this. Yeah, it wasn't all they all they've done is sell this thing off. So when you come across a stock that they've done nothing but just continuously sell off, you know, you wanna, you know, watch out for those things. The VST you just need a little bit more time. Um now we can go look in the Discord for VS VST anyways, I guess. I'm not going for this. I, I just told you guys about five times back what I'm going for. We only have VSTE stock alerts. The stock is still too new, still too low volume. Nobody wants to mess with this. Keep on your analysis order flow to see if you got more largest coming in and largest going out. You have more largest that are still going out, mediums that are rushing out. None of them are buying in. And you got some more smalls coming in. They got the FOMO. That's all FOMO. When you see small retailers buying into a stock, buying into a position that looks like this. That mean that they they got the FOMO on there, man. But MLGO, my favorite one on this list. I believe MLGO is gonna come in for the easiest reversal of them all. Um, and there are a few more down this list. Keep in mind, I only I only do the top ten because I don't have time to talk about a whole thirty stocks. Maybe this video will be about two hours long if I talk about all thirty stocks, and I have to extremely speed up. Nobody will understand. You know how fast I'll talk, man. MLGO down to this major discount for fifteen. Hold on, in fact, watch this. I to watch this, man. This stock went from $71 down to $0.71. Cents, literally, man. And right now in the after hours, we got some people who are bullish on this thing. And this is why I tell you guys to wait to the after hours to buy your swing trades. Because if you buy any of your swing trade during the intraday, well, you get in where millions of swing, millions of day traders are planning to sell that thing off. Shorts and all that stuff like that. When you get to the after hours, shorts are already done with all the nonsense they done did. Day traders are already done with all the nonsense moves that they done did. And now you get into a safe position because the second you buy in with bullish divergence coming in as the RSI pulls back up into range, well, you go from 71 cents back up to 75 cents. Not much of an uptrend, but it's still the beginning of that MLGO stock. And of course, I like to take you guys back to your four hour chart so you'll be able to see uh, the reversal that's coming in. A little choppy down there at first, but I, the, these are the lows to get into at these 70 cent ranges on. These 70 cent ranges are not going to last long on MLGO. So make sure you keep an eye on the analysis order flow to see if you got more largest coming in or largest going out. No largest touching this thing just yet. We're talking about more smalls, more mediums going out, and more smalls are going out of this thing. Uh, could just use it. And you know what? Keep in mind, everything going on with these stocks and all the stocks is wild. The markets are wrecked. We talk about over 4,000 decliners, but the markets are much more bearish than bullish. And uh, under 2,000 advancers. Which is actually crazy because of, you know, they were, you know, we was expecting for the marks to be, uh, the marks were bought. We were expecting for things to turn red no matter what. But they did say that the markets will be coming in for more bullishness throughout the year, 2024, and so on and so forth. Um, So, you guys in the Bank World Believe Discord, I like to read through the catalyst section. Like, I'm talking to you newer traders here. If you are newer to trading, I don't know, this might be your first stock market video ever, man. Um. I recommend that you read through the news catalyst section because, like, I, I kind of remember all of this news now. Whenever a stock comes out with that news, I already know that thing's going to be bullish or bearish or not. Because I, I, I literally, I'll spend hours just reading through the news catalyst section and matching up time frames. Because that's all I do is I study stocks. And I recommend you do as well. And, of course, um, check in on where this go to delusion tracker. You need to... Another important thing you need to understand, and I'm talking to you newer traders here, man. You need to understand this fast before you start understanding everything else, man. Because I wish I would have understood all of this stuff in the very beginning. You need to understand the type, the types of delusion. Understand the offerings, the pipes, the warrants. 
for those of you who have a hard time studying in or understanding those, um, I left behind notes in the chat GPT section. Cause, you know, notes about the warrants and all our friends and the pipes and, and so on and so forth, whatever you guys be looking for. Like, for example, I was asked what the main difference between a public offering and a private and a private investment in public equity, a.k.a. a pipe, is. And then transaction for stocks. But trying to figure out these things be bullish, if they be bearish, so, so on and so forth. And, you know, um, I recommend you do too. You can read through the notes I left behind. Maybe you have some more intricate and in-depth questions that may even help me learn a bit. So... Whatever questions you guys need, if I'm if I'm if I'm too busy or maybe it's late night and you just up studying, go to the chat GPT and leave some notes behind for the rest of us to understand, you know, the rest of us to study on and so on and so forth. Unless you got MOBX stock. Man, what's going on with this stock right here, man? MOBX stock that came in for so many different spikes. Like look at this. Big spikes here. You got this stock that came in the other day for a quick spike there. Let's go back some. This stock got this stock coming in for those hot spikes. Uh when you catch an old, uh, it's questionable if those spikes be pumping dumps or not. It's hard to tell if they be pumping dumps or not, you know, because we don't, we don't know what group or what association or what company could be doing that quick pump, but they do it fast, man. And they like to do pumping dumps, not through the intraday, if you guys know. They like to do pumping dumps during the pre-market or they'll try to pump something up right during the after hours. And, of course, if you can catch wind of those things ahead of time, maybe the day before, that's why you want to maybe read through the feeds and see the news and stuff like that. You know when the stock is getting ready to make that next hot move. We got MOBX going from 250 for a quick spike to 330 off of low volume. That low volume, these low volume things, they have, look, every single stock I'm showing you right now has such eyes and attention on it. People are really excited for these stocks because of, and I'll show you why. Watch this. Look on your four-hour chart. Uh, be it low volume, nonetheless, but it's all about getting it at the lows number so. Unlocking the games, blah, blah, blah. Every single stock I'm showing you right now is literally at the lowest number of souls and literally coming in for rounds of bullet divergence. As we just seen, some of these stocks already came in for spikes. Some of these stocks are already extremely like AISP done, pushed up with like 70, almost 100% just today. And then sold back off real quick. But every single one of these stocks gets ready to do the same exact thing as AISP. Now, there's a few more down this list you might want to be looking into. Um, Because I only do the top 10, but it's like, 25 30 on his list. Uh, look at it right here, like ACON down towards the bottom of the list coming in for the after hours move. Uh, missed out on this making a video right now. This I go from 19 cents all the way to 33 cents. Too easy, too easy. HGAS already up 10 percent off the low volume. Now, understand, I know a lot of people don't like the low volume things. You can see, and for some reason, everybody only wants to get the stocks that are the most active. You talk about you, are, you want to get to a stock that got 700 million in volume. That all the day traders are about to sell off and all the short sellers are about to short sale. You know, try to make sure you move carefully and accordingly. Um, I'm finna make a video on bets, currently about bets. Um, the uh, bets, too much manipulation here, too much market manipulation for far too many days. And when I made the video saying everybody should hold on bets and this stock will explode, the very same morning, this morning. Everybody decided to sell this thing all the way back off, back down to the lows of that one cent. Best is becoming a bit more risky and there are certain places to be going for. Now to say that this thing isn't about to explode, the only way to go is pretty much up on bet stock. But there are some easier plays to be getting into. Let me know if you are still holding in on bets and I'll be able to guide you correctly because I'm not holding in on bets anymore. And I'm about to be going for probably an OGO or BJDX stock for sure, for sure. There are a couple other things you'll be looking into like the top gainers because the top five gainers are parabolic. And these stocks will come in for that next hot breakout. But we'll talk more about those as well here in a bit. I'm Billy Banks. Let me know which stocks you are holding into, what you're most excited about. Get to the Bank of Billy Discord, as you can see, when we are talking about these stocks. You don't miss out on any hot action that's going on. Be into a safe, easy, early seat. I'll see you guys in there. And happy trading.